Hey Kidsters, it's Mrs. Yock, and today is our second grade read aloud. Today I get to share with you a book that I'm really excited about sharing with you that I used to read and I read to my daughters. So let's get into that. Our objective for the day is to be thinking about how events are connected in a text. For example, if I take my ice cream outside on a really hot day, it's going to melt. That would be the effect. So today we're going to be looking at the causes and the effects. And when I'm reading, I'm going to be asking myself a couple of questions. What's happened and why did it happen? So as you listen to today's story, I want you to think about what happened and why did that happen? So our gift for today is Turtle Throws a Tantrum. And this is a book from the Sweet Pickles series that has a lot of other books. So if you like this book, you could go in online and probably find a YouTube video for some of the other Sweet Pickle books. Or they might be at your local library. Turtle was walking down the street when she passed Vulture. Good morning, Turtle, said Vulture. Have you seen my new yellow bracelet? Vulture held up his arm. Turtle looked at the shiny yellow bracelet. That's neat, she said. Let me try it on. No, said Vulture. It's my bracelet, and it looks better on me than anybody else, and you can't try it on. But I want to try it, whined Turtle. I want it on. You can't have it, grumbled Vulture. It's mine. Turtle sniffled and moaned. I don't care. I want it now. No, yelled Vulture. Turtle rolled her eyes and said, You better give it to me. You better give it to me right now. What if I don't, shouted Vulture. Then I'll scream, said Turtle. She threw her head back and screamed at the top of her lungs. Ah! I want it. I want you to think. In your head, what's happening? She's throwing a big temper tantrum, isn't she? Hmm, let's think back. Why is this happening? Think in your brain. Did you say it's because he wouldn't give her the bracelet? I would agree with you. Let's see what happens as the story goes on. Walrus came running over. What's the matter, he asked. Who is making that terrible noise? screamed Turtle. It's only Turtle, sneered Vulture. She wants my bracelet and I won't give it to her. Walrus looked at Turtle. Listen to me, he said. That bracelet belongs to Vulture and he doesn't have to give it to you if he doesn't want to. Hmm. How do you think that Turtle is going to react to that? Let's find out. But I want it, screeched Turtle. Make him give it to me. Yeah. Lion came running over. What's the matter with Turtle, he asked. She wants Vulture's bracelet, moaned Walrus. And I won't give it to her, yelled Vulture. Give it to me, screamed Turtle. Or I'll kick and I'll scream and I'll stamp my feet. Yeah. No, said Vulture. Turtle kicked and screamed and stamped her feet. Hmm. How are they going to solve this problem? And I'm noticing that people keep running over. Why, it is, why do you think it is that everybody keeps running over? Think in your brain. I would agree. It's because she's making so much noise and they're worried something's wrong with her. Let's find out how they go about solving this problem in the story. Oh dear, sighed Lion, maybe you ought to give her the bracelet. Yes, same Turtle, give it to me. No, said Vulture, I won't, it's mine. This could be a problem, moaned Walrus. Yow, screamed Turtle, yow. Hmm, so Kipsters, do you think you should give it to her? What would 
would happen if he gave it to her? Find out what happens. Yak and Zebra came by. What's this all about, ass Yak? Turtle seems to be screaming and kicking and stamping her feet, smiled Zebra. She wants my bracelet, grumbled Vulture, and I won't give it to her. Make him give it to me, screamed Turtle, or I'll kick and I'll scream and I'll stamp my feet and throw myself on the ground. Turtle kicked and stamped, screamed and stomped her feet and threw herself on the ground. This is really serious, groaned Walrus. Wow, yo, ah, screamed Turtle. Hippo jogged over. What's the matter, he cried. Is somebody hurt? Hmm, what would make him think that? Did you say it's because it sounds like she's screaming and crying and that's something somebody does when they're normally hurt? I thought the same thing. Yow, screeched Turtle. I want it. Yeah. What can we do for her, ass lion? How can we make her stop, moaned Walrus. Now they're trying to get to the heart of the problem. What would you do to make her stop? Think. All right, let's see if they come up with the same solution you had. What's going on, asked Camel as she passed by. Turtle wants something, said Hippo. I'm not sure what it is, but she said she would kick and scream and stamp her feet and throw herself on the ground until she gets it. You better give it to me, screamed Turtle, or I'll hold my breath until I turn blue. Everybody looked at Turtle. Turtle took a deep breath and puffed out her cheeks. This is a problem, groaned Walrus. She could hurt herself. Turtle stamped her feet and threw herself on the ground. I think I can make her stop, said Zebra. Turtle kicked and thumped and started to turn blue. Come over here, everybody, called Zebra. Turtle jumped up and down and waved her arms and kept turning blue. What might Zebra's solution be to the problem? And then I wonder, will it work? Zebra started whispering. If we all kick and scream and stamp our feet and yell and hold our breath, smiled Zebra, Turtle will see how silly it looks. They all started to scream. Oh, yeah, wall of, uh, wailed Walrus. Give it to me. Ooh, 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 scream, lion. I want it. Yow, yow, ah, yelled Ra Yak. Mine, mine. Hmm. So what do you think the effect of this is going to be? They're all yelling and screaming. What's going to happen because of that? Do you have it in your brain? Okay, let's see if you're right. Zebra screamed and jumped up and down and stood on his head and kicked his feet. Hippo yelled and moaned and cried and sniffled and rolled into Turtle. Turtle looked up. Yak drummed his feet and held his breath. Camel cried and wailed on the ground and jumped up and down. Zebra pounded on the ground and screeched. Walrus rolled over and over and over. They all look pretty silly, don't they? What do you think's going to happen because they're doing this? Remember, in my brain, I'm thinking, what will happen? And why did it happen? Yow, they all screamed, give it to me. Turtle let out her breath with a whoosh. Arr, screamed everyone, me, me, it's mine. Stopped kicking and stomped her feet. Now, think. Okay, so the effect is that she stops kicking and stomping. What made that happen? Did you think that the reason she stopped was because she looked really silly and she realized that because everybody was acting silly? That's what I was thinking. I agree with you. Give it to me, shouted everyone. Hippo banged his feet with his hand. Zebra 
writhed and shuffled. Yak hiccuped and held his breath. Lion crossed his eyes and bit his tail. Turtle walked over to Vulture. Hey, Vulture, she said. What do all those guy what are all those guys doing? I think they all want my bracelet, grumbled Vulture. Well, said Turtle, I wouldn't give it to them if I were you. Turtle walked down the street. Did it in the way you thought it would? So let's think back. When we were reading, we were thinking, what happened? And why did it happen? So when Vulture wouldn't give Turtle his bracelet, what happened? You're right, Turtle threw a huge temper tantrum. What happened when Turtle threw a big temper tantrum? Think, what was the effect of it? Yes, I would agree. When I look back in the story, I know that when she threw the big temper tantrum, everybody came running over because they were worried about her. Then think at the very end. Everyone else pretended to have a big temper tantrum. What was the effect of that? What ended up happening? Yes, I thought so too. I thought that because that happened, she realized how silly it was and she stopped doing this temper tantrum. She even told Vulture not to give him give them her bra his bracelet. How silly is that? She must have realized how silly she looked. Okay, Kipsters, I really hope you had fun with this story. Remember, it's a series. So if you like this series, it's called the Sweet Pickle Series. And I bet you can find more videos on YouTube. There's all kinds of crazy characters. My favorite is Goof Off Goose. So I hope you have a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing you.